Timothy, I've, I've loved you since you uh, first staggered into view in that nightclub in Newcastle. <laughs> I've loved you since then, I will always love you. There's nothing really more I can say than, are you listening or what? <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for your weddings. Oh, we're trying to make a speech, aren't we? I suppose it was mid-autumn when the nerves began to jangle. Christmas was a very busy time with many ups and downs and January was a bad month. As spring has progressed, the stress levels have constantly ratcheted upwards and life's ebbs and flows have helped and hindered us in equal measures. But today, Preston North End are at least guaranteed. <laughs> what? I, Nicholas, take you, Fiona, to be my wife. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in the presence of God, I make this vow. Any advice for a happy marriage? I don't know. Hey, listen. If I may, firstly, be yourself. Because ultimately, that is who you are. Listen oh. to each other. Pardon? <laughs> Just nod and smile. <laughs> and now, a fee. And as I look down at my notes, it just says, nice things. <laughs> Funnily enough, I look down at my notes and it just says awful things. <laughs> but thanks to uh, Mrs. Street, I received an email which, uh, with an excerpt from his diary. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, from the section entitled, From What I Will Be Like in 15 Years Time. I hope to work for MI5 or the Secret Service, have a large house, a Jaguar XK8, a Land Rover Defender, and a holiday ho house in Hawaii. <laughs> I, would, I would try to grow to be a millionaire and be a lord or sir or something and enter the Olympics at least twice. Uh, to join me in the toast, as loudly as you can, to the bride and groom. I can't hear you. <laughs>